The next agenda item is agenda item number six, REZ 2014-10. Staff, if you would please present this case. Yes, sir, thank you. Uh, subject property is located on 41 South, otherwise known as Bennett's Tree Service. And currently their operation is split zone. The front portion and the larger portion is zoned commercial. The back portion is zoned residential from, we believe, years past the development of a residential subdivision to the east. With that, they're coming before you to try to clear that up and clean that up turn it into an all commercial portion. Staff uh, believes we're able to work with them in this request and make it commercial. We believe it's functionally separate from the neighborhood because there's a really nice natural buffer that exists behind their property. They're only going to add to that buffer as well as agree with our um, outdoor storage regulations that will be required to prove. So with that, we do believe it's ready for your consideration. We did find it inconsistent with the map because the map follows that same commercial line, so there's a little bit of a discount in that, but we believe it's able to be overcome. So we found it inconsistent with the map, consistent with the goals and policies, and recommended for its approval. All right, thank you. Are there any questions for the staff on this case? <coughs> Jason, down here where you had a suggestion, mm -hmm. uh, is that a condition? Is that part of the recommendation, or is that we, we talked it over as staff whether or not we needed to actually require those as conditions, but we felt like that the applicant, because they're in the code, will be required to do them and will do them on their own accord rather than us making them do them. So no, we didn't believe they needed to be a condition. So condition not going to be necessary? Yes, sir. We wanted to make them aware, but we didn't think we needed to take it to a level to actually enforce it as a condition. Thank you. Any other questions for the staff? Yes. Jason, just to elaborate a little bit more, the center is currently a buffer between their property where they are operating adjacent property. Yes, ma'am. Does that satisfy the CH highway commercial buffer between CH and the residential property I, next door? I don't believe it does, but existing vegetation can count toward those buffer requirements. But I think they're going to need to meet with the zoning administrator and possibly staff out there to make sure how much of that buffer is actually on their property and what can count towards those requirements. But overall, I would say no, it probably does not meet all the buffer requirements, but it can be counted towards it. Because I don't, honestly, I don't believe it's all entirely on the Bennett's property. I think a portion of it is, but a portion of it is on their neighbor's property. But functionally, it's there. Any other questions for the staff? There being none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this application? <coughs> is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this application? Discussion um, is not open amongst the commission. There being none, I will now entertain a motion from the commission. Chairman, now I make a motion to follow staff recommendation to rezone one point five acres from C H N R twenty one to C H. Right, we have a motion by Commissioner Nichols. Second by Commissioner Breaker. Is there any discussion on the motion? There being none, all those in favor of this motion, please indicate by raising your hand. All those in opposition to this request, please indicate by raising your hand. The motion passes unanimously. 